Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's backing out and did it again one more time. So yeah, man, the quote that has been running around the internet. JavaScript is great until you see the PHP guys with a Lambo. <laughs> Shout out to Wes Boss for this tweet, you know, sometimes... You know, we got to give a shout out to certain individuals. And West Ball's been grinding out here for years. Um, but I do like this tweet, right? JavaScript is great until you see the PHP guys with a Lambo. And this really comes down to uh, Taylor Atwell's, you know, tweet the other day. He was like, yo, good morning. <laughs> Larabel <Larry Bell> forever. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> yeah. Right? He just copped the, the Lambo. And I mean, it's no secret. Taylor Atwell, he's been a millionaire for a while. Like, let's, let's not sugarcoat it. He's been getting bread for a while now, okay? Um, and it's I'm happy for him. It's something that's really good. It's great for motivation. It's the same reason when, you know, a few years ago, uh, people have been telling me, Joe, you got to cop the Lambo. You got to do this and that. I'm waiting for my time. Right. Just like Taylor, you know, he built his businesses. He got the Laravel. Right. He got all the other services that he have uh, for Laravel and all the, the platforms he keeps on creating. Right. Um, I'm waiting for my time. OK. We get Lambos when the Lambos become a Honda. You know what I'm saying? When the Lambo feel like a Honda, I'll cop the Lambo. OK. <laughs> for now, we'll stick to to the Benzes. You get what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm not nowhere near Taylor Atwell's uh, level. And it would be stupid of me to be buying a Lambo when, you know, in reality, I'm, I'm, I'm a half a millionaire. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not a millionaire yet. OK. Uh, but yeah, man, shout out to Taylor. Uh, killing it. Great motivation for the community. Also, too, is just showing what's really happening out here. OK. And shout out to Wes Boss for even, you know admitting to what's happening out here in the streets basically okay uh javascript is great until you see the php guys with a lambo you know what i'm saying you know there's a couple of you know javascript guys with the little teslas and this and that right some of them you know they'll get you know a little prius and <laughs> most of them is getting like the priuses and the the, the broncos you know what i'm saying um god bless you guys who <laughs> trying to take care of the, the 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 how you call this shit the the environment <laughs> we ain't worried about that right now okay um uh, but yeah man you know again php is an amazing language right um the laravel community is huge at the same time you know there's so many opportunities so many jobs out here and and this is not just one person that can afford to get a lambo it's a lot of people in the PHP world that can afford a Lambo, okay? Uh, you got guys like Levels.io. He makes bread. There's a lot of guys. I mean, I'm just giving you guys some of the names that you might know. Um, but a lot of the indie hackers, they are basically coming from the world of PHP, right? Coming from PHP and, and focusing on building uh, products, right? One thing that I've noticed over the years with like let's say if we wanted to compare php and like javascript and node.js etc if we wanted to like put it heads to heads right um community against community right <laughs> one thing that i notice is in laravel right and, and just php overall people are focusing on creating products people are focusing on creating uh you know new experiences and, and just getting shit out there and getting shit done right in the javascript world it's hard for people to get shit done. Why? Because every two months, there's a new framework, a new library, a new package that everybody stops whatever they're doing to focus on that. They're like, ooh, the shiny, shiny little little framework, the Teletubby framework, Google Gaga framework. The Google Gaga framework just came out. <laughs> we got to stop whatever we're doing. We're not building nothing, right? We're not going to build anything. We're not focusing on building anything. We're going to focus on the Google Gaga framework. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what happens a lot in the JavaScript world. And I'll be honest. I'll tell you from what I've noticed in, in the last five years. I've been five years in this game and this YouTube channel and just getting all type of people that come um, to, you know, our communities from the comment sections, even from everywhere. I go in and check out other people's communities. And one thing that I noticed Everybody that's on the hype stack, meaning whatever's new coming out, right? That's not actually building anything, right? 
they always have the same thing. Man, the industry saturated. I can't find a job. I can't do this and that. It, it happens, right? Again, I'm not trying to talk shit about uh, JavaScript. I love JavaScript. I mean, shit, we need JavaScript. You know, if you're doing any type of modern website nowadays, you need JavaScript. But again, we cannot hide the fact that there's a lot of people that focus so much on the hype stack. We got to connect Remix with Veet and GraphQL to this. And then from there, we need to make sure that we got Svelte connected to this. And just to, for Svelte to give us a baby with Vue.js together. And then now they just made React. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the world of JavaScript, right? And one thing that I love about, you know, the ecosystem of like PHP is like, every time I go into the world of PHP, I just search the tag PHP. You start seeing people building stuff, software as a service, Shopify apps, uh, you know, WordPress themes, Drupal themes, um, again, always building something. You go into the world of JavaScript is like, you know, <laughs> what are we doing today? We doing regular JavaScript, JavaScript versus TypeScript. Uh, you get what I'm saying? That's what you be seeing all the time, right? Um, and, and that's where it really comes down to, right? You know, JavaScript is great, okay, until you see the PHP guys with Lambos, right? I haven't seen, like, a, a huge influx of, like, PHP developers where they're like, man, I can't find a job. Man, I, I, I can't find no opportunities. Bro, you could eat. You could come outside right now and be like, yo, uh, put your hand down and you pick up an opportunity <laughs> with, with PHP, literally. Like, you could do anything with PHP, right? Um, as far as like making income, cause again, I don't know what we're here for, right? Like I'm the type of guy, I don't care what's fast or a for loop or a while loop. I'll leave it to you guys to decide that one. For me, I care about what's going to get me paid. What's going to help me take care of my family. What's going to help me build wealth, right? What's going to help me go to the next level, right? What type of tools can I depend on? Like, for example, when I use Node.js, I feel like I'm not, I can't depend on any package that's on Node.js. Either this thing is going to be uh, breaking down in a few months, or there's going to be random breaking changes or some crazy shit, or the framework doesn't provide everything for me. So then now I got to spend hours and hours trying to find out which is the best package to connect and create this Frankenstein web application. Like, nah, that's why I love PHP Laravel because I just go in there. I have an idea. Da, 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 build my idea in a weekend i'm good in one weekend i basically got the the mvp <laughs> you're gonna say right i got the mvp the you know the 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 simplest thing from the whole idea of whatever i want to create it, it gets done in the weekend okay and then from there i continue building more and more and more uh, on it so again that's the difference man again this is no shout to the people that's in, in javascript or you know javascript land but you know it's time to start creating man <laughs> like stop worrying about framework stop worrying about what package is better this isn't that like bro come on come home <laughs> come home okay uh let's start building things man okay that's how you make money somebody said in the the chat somewhere not the chat the one of the the tweets that were there i mean so many different tweets right uh you know let me see if i find it but there was like somebody saying like yeah man all you have to do is build a a framework and then from there build a service for the framework and then you could get a lambo it's like no nah, there's a lot of stuff that you could do this is just how taylor atwell got his money right but he could have been doing anything else he could have easily been like the homie right levels.io right shout out to him right uh, I think he even popped up in here somewhere uh, in one of these uh, things. Yeah, hey, here you go. Somebody said, yeah, but when they arrive home in their Lambo, they have to code PHP. When we get home on our secondhand bike, <laughs> we at least get to write JavaScript perspective, <laughs> right? And then Levels Dio says, you know, <laughs> laughing my fucking ass off, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, again, Levels, what he did, he went in, built a service, Nomad List, right? It's lit, okay? He's been making money for a while now, okay? Um, again, 3.25 million. He's going for 4 million now. You know what I'm saying? He, he's playing with Monopoly money right now, right? While some of the guys that focus just on, what's the new framework? What's this and that? And just constantly trying to like up whatever was there last week. 
and haven't built anything, there's guys out here that's like, okay, let's see. This is a tool. Let's go in. If I know this tool, right, I'm using this programming language to build whatever it is that I need to build. Let me go in and build it. This is why people are making money. It's not because any language is better than the other one. It's because people are actually creating things, okay? Um, and it also comes down to the type of communities that, that's out there, right? Uh, so, again, if you want to be in the winning team, okay, it's not just about code. It's not just about programming languages. You need to start creating things, right? It's like me, codingphase.com, right? I could have easily built a software as a service. I could have easily focused on, you know, any of my niche websites that I had. I could have continued in that road. But guess what? I found a service, right? And, and a problem that people had, which was how do they get the first job initially, right? And how do they get into the industry? And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's create a platform where we give them everything that they need at an affordable price. And at the same time, give them access to, you know, a great community. So technically, you know, we created this service, okay? So again, this is what you want to do. This is how you make money. You need to start creating. It's not just about, I want to learn how to code and just to code. I want to be the guy who's one-upping the next guy on a GitHub, you know, <laughs> GitHub issue is like, yo, I'm going to one-up this guy or I'm going to one-up the guy on Stack Overflow. It's like, nah, bro, I want to build things. Okay, that's how you make money out here. All right. So, anyways, man, shout out to everybody that was part of this. Uh, West Boss, <laughs> Taylor Atwell, all right. Shout out to Levels IO and everybody that commented on that tweet. Um, it's a great, it's a great tweet, man. <laughs> I think it really, really is a good tweet, you know. Um, but again, guys, JavaScript is great until you see the PHP guys <laughs> with a Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so anyways man listen if you want to learn how to code and you want to get started um with your career in the tech industry okay you got to check out codingphase.com guys definitely come through all right learning to code has never been easier all the skills that employers expect from you right developer in one place okay one single place we don't teach coding as a hobby you could do that you could do that on a hobby I don't do that. I don't do it for hobby. I do it because it's a great skill to have and I could be creative with it. And guess what? When I create something, I'll make a bag. Okay. <laughs> we don't teach coding as a hobby, guys. Okay. Learn skills that are actually worth learning and getting results. Okay. You can see it right here. React, Shopify, Node.js, PHP, right? You choose your career path. Choose whatever you want. You a diamond member, you could choose whatever you want. I personally recommend for people to start with content editor, HTML emails. With this two path right here, you can pretty much get started. It's just HTML, CSS, learning a couple of tools. And guess what? From there, you can get your job in two, three months, right? Nobody's looking that way. Nobody's talking about content editors, HTML email developers, right? So guess what? There's less competition, right? So it's a better opportunity for you to get started with that as you continue to learn more about the front end, more about the back end, learn more about being a full stack developer, React developer, Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer. And guess what? Become an entrepreneur developer. Okay. This is how you do it. Okay. Once you become a full stack developer and you've gotten enough knowledge, Start putting that, that, that mind, putting that code to work for you. Stop putting it to work for somebody else, okay? If you have ideas, build it, all right? So anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. I'll see you guys later. Peace.